Hey, welcome to my channel, Cook It With Manual Focus, and today we're going to be making some absolutely delicious meatloaf. Now, I know you've probably been riding the bench for a while. Now it's time to get you in the game. So this recipe right here, I'm going to tell you, follow it, and i have you in the game. You're going to be in the starting lineup. Now, without further ado, let's focus on getting you in the game, and let's focus on this meatloaf. Now, the full ingredients will be in the description box below, so you can follow along and make this absolutely delicious meatloaf at your crib. Now, we're going in with a small onion. Now, what I want to do with this onion, I want to chop this finely, almost get it like a minced onion, and then I'm going to hit it with some garlic. I'm going to mince this garlic, then we're going to set this to the side. Now, what I got, I got some 80-20 ground beef and then some Italian sausage. Now, we're going to hit it with that onion and then that garlic. Now, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with some Parmesan cheese. Now, keep in mind, that's going to be absolutely delicious. We're going to go in with some milk as a binding agent. And then we're going to hit it with those breadcrumbs. Now, that milk and that breadcrumb, that's going to keep this meatloaf moist. Now, we're going in with some crushed black pepper. And then we're going to hit it with some Creole seasoning. Now, to get everything bonded and keep it together, we're going to add two eggs into this mixture. And then, fam, we're going to hit it with a little bit of that barbecue sauce. After that, some oregano. And then we're ready to go to work. And you want to get everything mixed in and mixed in well. And then after that, once you get everything mixed, you want to start kneading this mixture. And then it's going to almost form like a big meatball. Now, I did add an additional cup of Italian breadcrumbs. And like I said, it's going to keep it moist. And this is going to be absolutely delicious, fam. So when everything comes together, hey, you're ready to go for the next step. Now, what I got right here is a bread loaf pan. And I'm going to hit it with some cooking spray. And I'm just going to use this as a form for this meatloaf. So I'm just going to pack this pan with that meatloaf and just get everything, you know, nice and compact in there so we can get this in the oven. Now, once we get everything compact in there, we're going to hit those sides just to make sure like everything is, like I said, compact, nice. And then you got like a nice form. Now, here's a trick. Take a butter knife and then go along the sides and this will help this release off that pan. Now you can cook this in the pan, but what I want to do is I want to take this out of the pan so when we get to that saucing stage, hey, I can do, almost do it like a cake. Let that sauce run down the side and then you know, it's going to be absolutely delicious on all sides with that barbecue glaze that we're going to make in just a minute. So as you can see right there, hey, it comes out nice and easy and then what i want to do is i want to just make sure that my loaf is looking all you know beautiful so i'm compacting the sides and then just making sure that i don't have no cracks and then once everything is ready to go hey we're in the game now let's focus on this barbecue glaze now what's a meatloaf without a glaze you got to have a nice glaze on the top of that meatloaf fam now what we're going in we got some barbecue sauce and then we're going to hit it with a little bit of honey. And like I said, the ingredients will be in the description box below. This is going to give it like that nice little shine. We got some onion powder. We got some garlic powder. And then we're going to hit it with some apple cider vinegar to thin this mixture out. And then once we get everything, you know, mixed in, we're going to set this aside and then we're ready to go, fam. This is going to be absolutely delicious. Now, we got our oven preheated to 375 degrees. Now, we're going to let this meatloaf ride out for an hour. Now, about 40 minutes in, we're going to come back and we're going to look at this meatloaf and it's coming along well. Now, it's sitting at about like 135. And what we're going to do now is we're going to glaze this and let this ride out for the next 20 minutes. Now, like I said, that absolutely delicious barbecue glaze. Hey, we're going to get that and we're going to cook all sides. And that's why I didn't want to use, you know, that that loaf pan because I wanted to see that sauce, you know, just run over the sides. And then when you take a bite, everybody gets like a piece of that nice barbecue glaze. Now, we're going to place this back in our oven, like I said, for the last 20 minutes. And we're going to let this ride out and come up to our internal temperature of 150 after that's done, here we go, fam. We're going to bring this meatloaf out. And look at that right there. Man, that thing looks absolutely delicious, fam. Look at that barbecue glaze. Got a little cheese coming out the side. Hey, fam, you in the game. All right, fam, now we got to cut into this meatloaf. It's rested 
and it looks absolutely amazing and it smells absolutely amazing fam so let's go ahead and slice into this meatloaf and take a look at this let me bring one up to you so you can see how moist this bad boy is look at that right there yes sir hey that's what you want nice little meatloaf hey you in the game fam you in the game all right fam there you have it you got your absolutely delicious meatloaf and you already know what we gotta do we gotta give this a taste test hey look at that right there hey nice and moist and you in the game cheers fam mm. now that right there Hey, that's absolutely delicious, fam. Now, fam, I'm gonna go back in. Now, I gotta give me some mashed potatoes with that, because what is meatloaf without the mashed potatoes, right? Give me a little bite of corn on there, too. Ooh wee. Yes, yeah, sir. You in the game. Hey, if you're new to the channel and you like this content, man, let's go ahead, get you in the game, get you off that bench. Hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, hit that like button too. Now for the Focus fam that's been riding me for a while, that's been in the game. Hey, until the next recipe, I'll see you guys later. Peace. And take a look at this. Let me bring one up to you so you can see how moist this bad boy is. Look at that right there. Yes, sir. 